Some dealers you should leave or avoid altogether. Bad dealers unwittingly provide you with plenty of clues that tell you right away you need to get out of there. Or if you're still at home negotiating with them on your home turf where you should be, then you should just avoid them. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy. Today we're talking about warning signs and red flags you hear about so often that when you see or hear them, you should immediately decide you're not doing business with the dealership you're talking to. In the end, we'll tell you about how you can skip all this nonsense and enjoy car buying again. Sound good? Joining me in studio to discuss this important topic is the always amazing Elizabeth. Liz, let's break down the signs that if you see them, you should run, not walk away from a bad car deal and a crooked car dealer. Thanks, Kevin. Friends, as I coach car buyers who purchase our text consult package or our email help desk service, I often hear from people that a dealer in their area is refusing to do one thing or another. They ask, is this against the law? The answer is often yes. Today, we're hitting on a number of red flags that you need to be aware of, and yes, many are actually illegal. So here it is, red flag number one. The dealer won't give you an OTD price. That's the -the out-the-door price. This is not illegal, but it's very stupid. In today's post-pandemic era of the car market, literally every dealer should be more than happy to comply with your request for an out-the-door price, otherwise known as OTD. They should be more than happy to give that. Any dealer who fails to respond or says they can't send you the information you're requesting, regardless of what the excuse is that they offer, they should be avoided. If you're a DIY, do-it-yourself type car buyer and you want some free help, find our OTD email templates on our website. They're found in our pull-down menu for your convenience. By the way, no dealer our coaches negotiate with in our hassle-free car buying service will ever get away with refusing to negotiate using OTD pricing. We drop the idiots who refuse this like a hot potato because that's a deal killer for us. Yes, leave immediately. If you want to avoid the kind of nonsense we're talking about from dealers who pull stunts like we'll mention here today, look up our hassle-free car buying service on our website, thehomeworkguy.com. By the way, I'm so thankful for our hassle-free car buying service, and not just because it helps our viewers get great car deals, but our service gives us current involvement in car deals with dealers all around the country, and it provides us with first-hand proof that the methods we teach our viewers really do work. The bottom line is that when we see that it most definitely works for us, we know for certain that our techniques will work for you. You just have to be persistent like we are. That's right. Moving on, red flag number two, they say... Just come on in. Yeah. Instead of the dealer sending you the OTD information in writing that you requested, they tell you, just come on in. We'll work out a deal, especially if you're in the early phases of car shopping and you're on the hunt for OTD prices. You should never, ever abandon the comfort of your home turf and waltz into a car dealership just because some dealer tries to derail your process by saying, just come on in. Yep. Stay on your comfy sofa with your laptop and refuse to get sucked into the come on in con game. For sure. Red flag number three. The price of the car sounds very low. We've talked about this before. If a deal sounds too good to be true, it usually is. If you've been shopping around for the vehicle you want and suddenly you come across one that's priced much lower than anything else you've found, there's always going to be a reason and that reason could really cost you Don't take this as a sign that you should stop looking and run to that dealership before the extra low price car deal disappears. Bad dealers out there are playing games with pricing because they know people like you are searching for the lowest price of a car, so they will post a low price on the internet. Unfortunately, it's quite often a fake price. We'll go into a lot of detail on this in an upcoming show. The fake price is just as fake as a lot of the fake dealer fees we tell you about. If you're feeling tempted to check out the low price car you just found, your next step should be to find out why the price is so low in the first place. Yeah. It could be aged inventory, and you should know that new or used dealerships use their own criteria on what they consider to be an aged unit, so there's nothing standard there. Yeah. For any number of reasons, they feel they just need to get rid of it. So the question is, has the car been damaged, or is it simply aged inventory that they want to dump? You can find out by getting a Carfax report. The Carfax will say when the vehicle came into inventory at the dealer, and I'm assuming you can do just a little basic math to figure it out. Red flag number four, no pricing on the website or no pricing on their cars. We've seen this plenty of times. If it says call for pricing or you have to put in contact information like your name, your cell phone number, and your email address, if you have to do all this just to see the pricing on the dealer's website, you should be backing away very quickly from this dealer. Don't ever do business with dealerships like that. 
Dealers who lack transparency and pricing are capable of all kinds of dirty tricks. If you talk to them, don't be surprised if they say something like this. Listen, we have this private sale going on and we're limiting the number of people we're talking. Ah. No dealer ever wants to limit the number of customers they have. <laughs> this stunt is one of the oldest tricks in the dealer handbook on how to deceive customers. And they do it just to get your name and contact information. Ew. Plan on being heckled to death if you comply and give up your contact information. Don't do it. Red flag number five. We need a credit app before you can take a test drive. This is a big one. There are plenty of dealers who say, we need a credit application from you before you can test drive a car. They might even add, that way we can get you numbers and payment information while you're out driving. Don't let the convenience pitch get you sucked in. Don't be a sucker for that. Just say, okay, we'll see you later, and then get out of there. (laughs) Leave, because this is an indication of a very underhanded process, friends, and you should know that they've prejudged you. Sadly, this happens all the time as car dealerships size up their customers and have preconceived ideas about your credit worthiness. No matter what your credit is, once they get their hooks into you by assuming the sale before you even return from your test drive, they are impossible to deal with. This is just the beginning of a very lengthy and slow process to take the most advantage of you during their car deal. Yes, I said their car deal because if you let them do this to you, they will treat you like it's their deal and not yours. Red flag number six, the dealer has a market adjustment or additional dealer markup, also known as an ADM fee on their cars. This was a very common practice during the pandemic when cars were in low supply, but that greedy stunt is most definitely dead. Dealers could get away with it during a car shortage, and many of them did, but if you're seeing this out there at a dealership in your community right now, please comment below and let us know who the little scoundrels are. (laughs) Red flag number seven, the dealership has lots of bad online reviews. Now, before you even waste your time attempting to open communication with a dealer, you should go check out their Google reviews. Absolutely. Reviews are not the be-all, end-all of dealer evaluation, and yes, they could be faked, but if you see a pattern of complaints, especially with issues like bait-and-switch tactics, deceptive advertising, or poor customer service, that's a huge warning sign. Believe those guys. Don't bother with dealers like that. True, no dealership is perfect, but if you're seeing a lot of negative feedback, it's probably best to steer clear. Red flag number eight, addendums, otherwise known as the second price tag. Right. There are far too many dealers who are deploying a second price tag in the effort to force you into buying totally junk products. They will say, it's already installed and we can't take it off. Let me tell you this, if a dealer puts something on the vehicle that you want and you definitely don't want what they put on it, Not only should you be removing the charges, but you should be demanding a discount for them damaging the car with their junk products. Yep. This is 100% an example of tying the sale, which is clearly laid out as being illegal by the FTC. We hear about this kind of stuff happening all the time. For example, here's our viewer, Rob M., who writes, So, I just got back from a Chevy dealership here in the west suburbs of Chicago. Sunrise Chevy in Glendale Heights, Illinois, has on every new car... The second price tag. (laughs) The good news is is that you don't have to pay $500 for green valve stem covers. The bad news is you're paying $2,400 for rust proofing, $200 for door edge guards, and $300 for some add-on rear end collision system. This dealer should change their name to Surprise Chevy. (laughs) They are trying to force the sale of a rear end collision system on you, (laughs) and yet they're rear ending you for almost three grand in extra charges. How hilarious. (laughs) Oh boy, now for some red flags that show up a little later in the process. Red flag number nine, payment packing. I touched on this briefly earlier, but it deserves its own mention. This is a red flag that unfortunately shows up in the finance office late in the car buying process. When this happens, you're already in finance hoping to sign out on your car soon, and suddenly your loan just keeps getting fatter and fatter and the payments are getting bigger and bigger. You're hearing this common bullshit statement. You'll need to protect your investment. If you're suddenly being pressured to buy extended warranties, gap insurance, or other additional services that you don't want or need, that's a clear red flag. You should be getting up and walking out of there. You got it. Red flag number 10, inconsistent or confusing paperwork. If the paperwork is inconsistent or incomplete, or if the dealership keeps asking you to sign blank documents, just stop right there. This could happen in the finance office or even on the sales floor. This is one of the biggest red flags you can encounter. All the details should be clearly outlined as you should have the opportunity and the time to review everything before signing anything. If something feels off or if they're rushing you through the paperwork, trust your gut and walk away. 
Red flag number 11, tons of fake fees. If you haven't seen our video on 11 fake fees, make sure you see it before you visit a car dealer. That video was published back in 2019, but it's still relevant today. In fact, there's a lot of additional fees that they're charging now. Sadly, not only are dealers still charging all the fees that video mentions, but like I said, they've made up names for tons more. Yep. Red flag number 12, pressure to do the deal right now. Dealers love to sit there and tell you, hey, listen, if you do this deal right now, do it by the end of the day or do it in the next 10 minutes, however desperate they are. They finish by saying, we'll do this price for you right here. But then they add, if you walk out of the dealership, the price is no longer valid. Outside of manufacturer rebates, which sometimes expire at the end of the month, there is no reason a dealership should ever put a time contingency on the price of the car. None. The interesting truth is that if you do leave, they are likely to call you and offer an even lower price. The irony mm -hmm. and contradictions found in car dealerships are just mind-boggling. <laughs> Red flag number 13. The dealer is unwilling to give you the vehicle history report. If a dealership is unwilling to give you the history report on a used car that you're purchasing, it's definitely time to get up and walk out. The reason why is they're probably playing games with you on their cars. Sadly, most of the time when this happens, it's that the car dealership doesn't sell the nicest of cars. Red flag number 14, refusal to allow a PPI. That's a pre-purchase inspection, if you didn't know. This one is big. When you buy a used car, it is always a good idea to get a third-party inspection done on the car. There's places like Palm Car and Lemon Squad. They're yep. just two of the providers out there who do pre-purchase inspections. And no, we don't get any kickback for telling you that. Right. Whether it's these guys or your own shop, the bottom line is you need a PPI done on a used car. And if a dealership doesn't allow you to do that, Here's your sign. <laughs> it's another huge red flag. Their refusal could be for a couple of different reasons. And an even bigger problem is that they know there's something wrong with it and they don't want you to find out before you purchase it. That's right. Dealers like this are often selling vehicles as is and you'll have no recourse later if you buy their car. If you sign an as is buyer's guide, it clearly states that it is a federal government form regulated by the government. The bottom line is that if you buy a vehicle like this and it breaks in half when you drive off the lot, <laughs> you're the sad owner of both pieces. Aww. Don't ever let this happen to you. And red flag number 15, cooking the interest rate or a rate hostage situation. This is a sneaky trick pulled in dealer finance. A lot of people fall for it. The finance manager will typically have you sign all your paperwork for your car purchase. And they also go over the extended warranties and they go over the gap insurance and all the other products that they are salivating to sell you. These salesmen in finance have just one job to do for the dealership, and that's to significantly increase dealer profitability. There's finance managers all over the internet bragging how they are making three or four thousand dollars or even more per customer in that back office. There's a guy by the name of Shaka Dyson here on YouTube, and he trains these finance guys to be total sharks. Finance offices are known for many slimy things. And we've already mentioned a few of them, like making you sign your name on paperwork or on a tablet where you can't see everything spelled out. Right. Tell them you're not a tree hugger and you want to see it all on paper <laughs> and insist that they print it all out. Well, there you have it, friends. Seriously, though, there are many more red flags out there. So this is just the tip of the iceberg. But honestly, if you see one or two of these, it's time to leave because there's going to be more. Shifting gears, I'd like to say that by now, many of you know we've added another coach to help our viewers with hassle-free car buying service. We continue to come out on top in negotiation with dealers on behalf of our viewers. Our hassle-free car buying service is the best thing we've done by a long shot in the last 15 years. It also happens to be the best thing anyone has ever done for car buyers. That includes places like Car Edge and Costco Auto Program. They are basically two peas in a pod. Our service offers nearly triple the savings as compared with competing services out there. Our service is also a heck of a lot faster. If people want to go slower, well, that's fine too. But we have put people into a car just 48 hours after they contacted us for help. We can go that fast if needed. If you're hearing about this car buying service for the first time, go to our website, thehomerguy.com, and read our detailed posting on what it costs and how it all works. The bottom line is, if you're feeling intimidated by all the nonsense dealers pull, or you just don't have the time or energy to fight with those car dealers out there on your own, just let us know. We're here to step in and help you. And as I mentioned, we are expanding our services with more staff and more help for car buyers. By the way, you should also know that our service is the only car buying service that also saves you the hassle of negotiating with a finance officer. We have that knowledge firsthand from our newest hire, 
who happened to work directly for our competitors recently. He came over to join the good guys team, and you might guess where he came from. When we met, he said it was the first time he actually had a chance to meet the people he'd be working for. He also thought it was incredible that only with the Homer Guy team do you, the viewers, get to talk directly with the show host. I personally take every intake call. We don't have layers of bureaucracy between us and our viewers, and we like it that way. You get to talk directly with us, and you always will. Most importantly, it doesn't matter if you go with somebody like Costco or Courage, you get essentially the same kind of mediocre outcome. It's the same poor service from somebody who really doesn't know what they're doing. You'll never get the best available deal, and to add insult to injury, you're still stuck with negotiating with dealer finance officers. And that, my friends, is the worst stop you'll ever make in the dealership. You already know that. We don't ever leave you to the mercy of people like that. We pre-negotiate and coach you through every single step. Thanks to all of you out there in our audience for coming back. We greatly appreciate your loyalty. And if you want our direct help in your car deal, text Liz today at 701-441-3399. To all of our longtime subscribers, you guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, home of the only totally hassle-free car buying service, signing off on behalf of the amazing Elizabeth and the entire Homework Guy team. Thanks for listening. 